What's going on guys, Evolution here and welcome back to another Daisy Standalone video. Yeah that's right, we're doing some more Daisy Standalone Alpha stuff. So as I said, I would bring out the next episode as fast as I possibly could. And I'm only human, so that's kind of fast-ish. Yeah, anyway, so moving on, let's talk a bit about the inventory system first, shall we? So as I just mentioned, our first subject we're going to be talking about is the inventory. So as you can see in this image here, we've got the new inventory. Hmm, very nice. Right, so let's go into detail. So we'll start from the left. So on the left hand side, there's a box and it says vicinity. So vicinity means anything in your nearby area. So basically, say you run into a house and there's a soda can on the floor. If you run near it and then click the inventory button, 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 uh, whichever is your key map for the inventory, it will come up in your vicinity then you can drag it from the vicinity box onto your player if it's a piece of clothing or inv your inventory slots or weapon slots if it's an item or weapon so that's the vicinity done so in the middle we've got a player model box uh, this displays as I said your player model and also the items you're wearing so you can see like his boots he's wearing uh, anything on his head and stuff like that, and all that good stuff. Uh, at the bottom, we've kind of got your primary weapon slots. So here's where I think your weapon attachments and ammunition is going to be stored. At the moment, we can only see uh, primary weapon and ammunition in these slots, but I'm guessing that maybe your secondary goes as uh, that goes there as well. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's that many slots to be honest down there. But I'm not sure. But we definitely know your primary and your ammo goes down there. And then over on the right side, you've got your actual inventory. So this is uh, your backpack. And for instance, as you can see that his blue jeans actually has six inventory slots. Just to let you know, these inventory slots aren't realistic. Uh, Rocket hasn't actually chose like the sizes for all the bits of clothing. So they could only be one slot for certain jeans and two slots for hunting combat combats whatever you want to call them I don't know but yeah so then uh, jeans won't actually be six slots in the standalone they could be more they could be less right so let's move on to the next subject shall we so let's talk a bit about the crafting system so we know the crafting system is going to be in the standalone we've seen it being demonstrated and it looks really cool and I think it's got so much potential so I'll just give you a few examples so for instance you get a gas cooker and gas tank you can craft them together to make a fully uh, working device so like your, your gas cooker will then light up and you can use it to cook stuff or boil water etc uh, using disinfecting tablets on items to obviously get rid of like any bacteria if that's what you want to call it to prevent diseases uh, again you can use that in water to get rid of the diseases again uh, you get where I'm coming from here and also not only can you like use two items you can use multiple items so for instance uh, Rocket actually showed off him he got a kitchen egg timer he got a road flare some duct tape and what else was it a spray can it was a spray can sorry about that and he actually crafted all them together and he made like an improvised explosive bomb and I think there's so much potential so you can obviously make kind of attempted crafted weapons and explosives maybe even like first aid I mean maybe you can run around in the wilderness pick berries and then cook them and then when you've got the right ingredients you can craft them into some sort of healing powder or maybe a, a powder that can reduce blood loss when you're bleeding or something along them lines so obviously we know it's going to be in the standalone alpha and I think there's so much room for potential for that and the last subject I've got for us today is the vehicles. So, um, unfortunately, it's been confirmed that vehicles aren't actually going to be in the alpha of the standalone, but is going to be something they'll be working towards to bring in in an update, purely because they want to completely redo all the vehicles and make it epic. And by making it epic, I'll tell you what epic is. So at the moment obviously you find parts, if you've got a toolbox you can add on a car wheel to get it moving or put a new engine in if it's damaged. But we're going to go that one step further. So Dean's looking to be able to replace car doors, car batteries, possibly like headlights, tail lights. Um, so it's going to be extremely more customisable, much like your player and weapons. So for instance you could put a spray can in your hand and go up to car and spray something on the door. 
uh, you can take multiple doors off other vehicles and put them on your vehicle maybe like origins you'll be able to get reinforcing metal and then add plows and spikes and reinforced windshields stuff like that the only thing that has been confirmed is that the cars are going to be a lot more customizable and the example he actually gave was being able to take car doors off removing batteries I think another cool thing that there's potential for for vehicles is siphoning fuel because there's a lot of the time you have two vehicles and one's got fuel but the other one's mobile with no fuel so it'd be cool if you could siphon fuel from two cars but who knows so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed our session today and after you've watched this video I'd like you all to head down to comment sections and let me know what you think you'd like to see in it so drop a comment of what you'd love to see in the standalone and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and as always like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you leave that comment at the bottom because I want to I wanna see what you guys are expecting and would love to see in the standalone so anyway guys stay tuned and I'll be releasing the third episode very soon thanks for watching guys push out